I'm Christina Larray, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> Did I do that right? Oh my gosh. Did y'all like my little intro? I saw this comment by, um, here we go, right here, and I was like, yes, girl. I have to do that. So, let's go ahead and get started with this video, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel, my loves. Oh, my gosh. We is back already. Yes, we is. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to stay consistent, y'all. We trying to. We trying to, okay? That's what we trying to do, sis. We trying to get at least a video a week, okay? Okay? So, today, I'm really excited for this video. Y'all, let me tell you why I said I wanted to, um... I really wanted to follow my face because let me tell you <laughs> I was like wasting so much time trying to figure out what to do for today's video I was whoo lord I took me forever to figure out a video idea I was just like man what am I gonna do for today's video and um I noticed that some of y'all were talking about how I had like this little soft girl aesthetic going on because of my little heart probably but oh yeah what y'all think about my little heart today I put a little glitter on it what y'all think about it today a little cute little something you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying I might do a little do this heart little every video you know what I'm saying maybe I don't know I don't know but anyways uh -huh. anyways um I was just like I'm gonna do a drawing a soft girl video you know because I was just like I feel like that's kind of basically my art style already if you haven't seen my how to draw cute faces or how to draw a cute face video pretty sure that has like a soft girl aesthetic vibe to it I don't know I just I think that's kind of already my drawing style and I was like shoot might as well do a video on it you know I'm saying sis you know so I was just like you know what let me go ahead and go on Pinterest and find myself a nice little cute little pic so you know we found this pic right here and I was just like oh are you cute or whatever so let me just draw you on up real quick in my style or whatever so I was just like okay come on let's do this um it took me forever to find a reference pic so I was just like thank god finally I'm figuring out what I want to do for this video so I decided to sketch it out on paper first and then color digi digitally because I don't really have my markers with me right now I don't really have I really don't have my Copic markers with me I know you guys want to see me color with markers and stuff and traditionally but to be honest I just like coloring digitally sis I mean I just like the way it looks like drawing traditionally and coloring digitally is so cute to me and yeah you guys hopefully I can give you all a little bit of tips and stuff when it comes to coloring digitally or sketching or whatever um, during this video but yeah you guys I really hope that you all enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe for all that are new and even if you aren't new go ahead and still leave me a comment sis because you know I love to hear from you boo mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys, go ahead and enjoy this video. <laughs> I don't know how that went. Alrighty, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with the sketching process. This is possibly one of my favorite parts of the drawing process. I feel like the whole process is my favorite part, really. But oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just so excited about this piece, you guys, because wait till you see how it looks at the end like I really really love how it came out oh my gosh like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm so happy about it and um I just had a lot of fun working with this piece um as of lately I've been drawing from imagination but I guess I kind of got burnt out of that so I was like <clears throat> excuse me I was like let's go back to drawing from reference let's try that again and I am loving it you know I feel like I kind of improve slightly with my drawing from reference um skills kind of not sure I don't I'm not really sure <laughs> I, I kind of feel like I improved maybe just a little bit I think it's I'm slowly kind of growing into the style that I really really like and really really love so I'm pretty happy with the results of this and I just can't wait to keep creating more finding pictures that inspire me and drawing them um but not just drawing them i want to like you know add more to my pictures and at the end i add a little touch of some things as you'll see and that just really kind of made my picture stand out more than just drawing a portrait because i feel like i needed something more to my pictures than just a pretty face you know something a little extra a little pop in the background or something like that 
But yeah, I'm still practicing, you know, still learning and going with the flow with it. But we'll see how all of my skills, you know, manifest into more beautiful things in the future. So yeah, you guys, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and just let you all enjoy watching my sketching process. And if I have any little, you know, tips or anything that I want to tell you all or anything like that, I'll come back. So you all enjoy the chill music for now. Okay, so I'm back already, you guys. So for the blush, I decided to add the blush on here. I wasn't sure if I was gonna, you know, color it in or put it here, but I just wanted to draw it in since I really wanted to kind of capture the soft girl vibe um, pretty early on. So I used a blending stump to kind of give me the soft blush effect. And then I even added a heart on her cheek, even though it's not in the picture, because I just love the whole hearts on the cheek. I think it's so cute. And it even adds more to the soft girl vibe too. And I just really, really love it. So yeah. Um, and then now I'm just drawing out the rest of the face. And um, a little tip when you're um, sketching things out, just make sure you're going really light. And um, as you can tell for the shoulder part, I like to draw like a little triangle. And I wanted to make it as if her shoulders were kind of um, like one side was going up while the other's going down. So I would make a triangle, upside down triangle that is kind of like leaning upwards as you saw how I drew it. So it can kind of just give me that base for drawing the shoulders. So I think that's like a pretty cool way to give you some angles when, you know, drawing your little um portrait poses so yeah that was just a little tip for me or whatnot and then right here i'm drawing out the hair i'm just kind of blocking everything and not worrying about too much of the curls and everything and just you know kind of just making the shapes that i see as i'm going along with the picture and all that and don't forget you guys can follow along with me by following me on my pinterest and actually going down into the description and you can click the link so you guys can follow along with the picture the reference picture so yeah you guys but yeah i'm super excited about this drawing and i will come back when i start coloring
Okay, awesome. So we're starting the coloring. So for you guys that don't know, I use Procreate on the iPad Pro. I think I have a 10.5 inch. And what I do before I start is I just take a picture of the drawing that I like. I play around with the curves and everything. Um, if you guys want to see my tutorial on how I color digitally, you guys can just click um, on the the video that pops up I think it'll pop up if you guys want to see how I color digitally on procreate and yeah that's just what I'm doing right here I'm just I really love you know taking my traditional sketches and just coloring them digitally because I just really love the sketchy look as well I know that I um, just got like this new style where I'm just basically coloring using no lines but I think that style is definitely for more of when I'm drawing from my imagination completely um you know the style that i showed you guys in my other other video so it's like i go back and forth you guys like i have so many different like you know interest and in styles you know sometimes i want to practice realism i was actually practicing realism the other day and then i was like man i really want to go back to semi-realism so that's what i'm doing right now in this video because i was just like man i miss it you know i miss the semi-realism because i guess i was doing like the cartoony look for a minute now so I was just like oh I just want to get back to this do my semi-realism because I'm I love it you guys and I'm really really love how this picture was coming out oh I just had to go put on my music now my little salon you know what I'm saying gotta have some good music playing you know so yeah I just I really really have fun with this process you guys and um yeah let me know down in the comments below what y'all want to see me draw next I know there's soft girls um I know somebody said visco I don't know really sure what that is if y'all have like some links or pictures or y'all can tell me I don't know I don't even know what that is so maybe I'll do that or something or um I don't know some throwback things you guys want me to draw like Powerpuff Girls Bratz my scene I don't know I just I have so many things that I'm like thinking of that I'm excited to do oh like Sailor Moon and all that stuff I think that would be so dope but yeah you know just let me know down in the comments below um and I'll probably you know see what we can put together oh oh yeah okay and um oh my gosh I really love how the shine came out on the eyes here I decided to give her like three little shines and it really gave me them anime vibes that I just really really love I think my art is now more anime semi-realism -real than Disney and anime because I remember I told you guys a long time ago that my style was kind of like an anime Disney style. But I think it's definitely leaning to more towards more anime semi-realism. So yeah, and I love it. I just love it so much. So yeah, you guys. Oh my gosh. I had so much fun with this process. But yeah, I will see you guys in the outro of the video. So continue to watch and enjoy.
Alrighty, my loves. I hope you all enjoyed my little soft girl aesthetic drawing video. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I think it came out really kill. I'm actually like shook it a little bit. I know you guys are probably like, what happened to your new style? But I'm just like all over the place. Like, it's like, I like a lot of different styles. And like, I just like to play around, you know what I'm saying? So I was feeling my little semi-realistic style again. And I was like, you know what, sis? Let's go ahead and get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Let's try this again, you know what I'm saying? And I love the way that it turned out. But yeah, you guys just let me know down in the comments below what you all thought about this video. And yeah, sis, I will see you all next time. And thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye. Peace, love, and God bless my homies. Bye.